Hey y'all, Mrs. E here, and we have made it to episode 20 of our Outer Worlds playthrough. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, also, any feedback, thoughts are super welcome in the comments below. Enjoy! Alright, so here we are in Stellar Bay. Let's go talk to Sam Bar and Could figure I get out. Get another advance, Mr. Nandi. If we can get them. Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Well, new business turns up at last. Yeah. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? Sure, that's what that I'm here. you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Well, you've often posed these very questions. I don't, I don't think that's Clear HR my appropriate. Schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Uh, <laughs> that's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. So Noted. Want? But not so generous, I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Me? Oh, I'm, I'm charting my own path. I'm going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Hey, it could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. That sounds a little like a personal problem. I've got other concerns. What can I do for you? Well, I met Grim, um, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Look, I need MSI to stop broadcasting. You're jamming Devil's Peak Station. You think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. I'll deal with Bram, but right now I'm talking to you. My, you know how to take control of a situation, don't you? It's warm in here. Is anyone else warm? What he means to say is that we'll happily oblige. But first, we need your help with the plan to get MSI restored to the board. Oh, what's this plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. You do seem to have a bit of a Raptodon problem. And a Mantisaur problem. And a Marauder problem. Many, many problems, but they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting with the Bolt 52, we won't need to advertise anymore. We can stop our transmissions altogether. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. This Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. And once you have the Bolt 52, what's the rest of your plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Why are you saying it that way? Saying what? Which way? Arms. You're saying arms instead of arms. That's just what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. I'm sure I'll know when I find it. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. 
Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Um, I mean, you know what? Yeah, sure. Bye. That's, that's ridiculous. Deleting information, getting him this bolt thing from the arms room. Okay. Well, let's head over to Fallbrook. Um, I'm sorry, Amber Heights. We're gonna go to Amber Heights. Disarray level analysis. <laughs> Utter and total chaos. <laughs> We've gotta go figure out if we can get these guys to nicely stop their broadcasting that's not actually really working very well. Let's see if we can get two birds taken out with one yeah. stone. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. Ooh. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. I just need you to stop using Devil's Peak. Stop? No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. Your broadcasts aren't working. Nobody's listening. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely. You're only transmitting on a single radio frequency and very few people can receive it. Uh, excuse me, I'm from Edgewater on Terra 2. If you'll pardon my saying, nobody I know has ever heard of you. All the more reason to double down on our efforts. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Sounds fair to me. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Where's the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All right, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Oof. Something seems a little salty between those two. Not quite sure what it is. He seems not trustworthy at all. I don't like anything. Something is off about that man. Don't know what it is. Can't put my finger on it. Don't really want to put my fingers on him, so we're good. Um, but yeah, no idea. No idea. Uh, detected uh, traveling uh, on an organic uh -oh. substance in the immediate vicinity. Uh -oh. uh oh. I just washed these coveralls uh -oh. last week. They're still spick and span. Last week. Mostly. Preparing uh, degreaser mostly. nozzle for deployment. Sam, don't you uh -oh. dare. Sam, I see uh -oh, you pointing that thing my way. What did I just say? Cancel Sam, she did say no. Control. We do have to respect exactly. that. Ain't nothing wrong with a little mess. But I, I yeah. appreciate the gesture. I suppose. Oh. 
Guys, the Salmon Parvati show, that's like a the most wholesome thing ever. All right, let's go to Bayside here. I want to go figure out what is going on with their supplier. Let's see if we can kind of hook them up maybe with uh, some food and bandages because nobody needs more bullets. Let's see how peaceful we can do this. Are there any like mines around here? Who are you? Do I know you? Hey, I know you. Oh, I know Boss you. Boss says you've been real helpful, like. But, uh, we got this handled. We appreciate, but do not require oh. your assistance. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Aww. Look, let me handle this, and I'll, uh, give you the credit when I report to Catherine later. Huh. Yeah. I don't know what your angle is, but... All right. Be sure to tell her how hard it was to fix the generator. You know, after you're done fixing it. Yeah, uh-huh. Generator. Nope. Not fixing any generator. Do I look like a generator fixer? 100% sure I am not a generator fixer. Not my thing. Not at all. Alright, let's quiet. see here. What are you up to out there? Hello? Do you have a moment to talk about salvation through the order of scientific inquiry? You can't be serious. Yeah. Who are you anyway? Well, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm Stella. Graham sent me to collect supplies. Awesome. Finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar has declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Wait, what? He declared a stop sale? Why? Why would he do that? I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? Yeah. For a printing press? Yeah. Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Where will they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Zora suggested extra food and medicine. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Hey y'all, thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. Don't forget if you are enjoying the content, hit that like and subscribe button. We also have a Discord linked below. Feel free to join and hang out with other amazing people. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.